going on, homies? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through a full follow along ball mastery session, obviously accompanied by our boy Adam. I hope you remember him from the 2019, 2020 days. I think that's how many of you got to know us. So we're gonna get into it. It's gonna be about between 20 to 45 minutes. We're gonna see how we feel. Like I said before, we are in Croatia, so there's no pitch to really train on, but we still wanna get some work with the ball. And as I always say, you can always do something. The goal is always to find a solution. There's always gonna be problems, but your goal is to always find the solution. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through a warm up, and then we're gonna do about 10 to 20 ball mastery drills in a tight space, and you could do this anytime, anywhere, whether you're on vacation, whether you don't have access to a field, if the weather's bad, you're gonna enjoy it. So, let's get into it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, just start off with an easy warm up. Now we're just gonna get the arms going front side, front side. Front side up. Just keep the knees going. Keep the legs moving. The arms involved. Last thing for the cardio, just get the arm moving. circles so all you're gonna do your feet are underneath you feet are together you're just moving this way creating a nice circle 10 reps really be smooth and fluid here that's the goal you want to get some liquid into that knee joint other direction 10 reps the whole goal here is to get liquid and lubricate that knee joint because if we don't, then that causes problems. It causes stagnation. We don't want that. Next thing, figure eight. Create your figure eight. Be a little artsy. We're just here to enjoy, homies. Other direction. Cool, next thing, double calf raise to tibialis raise. So you're gonna raise, you're gonna raise. What you're doing is you're rising onto your toes, rising onto your heels, rising onto your toes, rising onto your heels. About 20 total reps. Cool, next thing, let's get that psoas active. 15 knee lifts, flex, extend, flex, extend, flex, extend. Very important for the hip, very important for the glute. Uh, 
of the leg. Just be very flowy, fluid here. Enjoy it. one everyone thinks this is a funny one my teammates love this some pelvic pulses all you're gonna do is you're looking for an anterior posterior pelvis posterior anterior pelvis posterior anterior pelvis very very important for footballers I know I'm sure God, a lot of you have had hip injuries groin injuries all that starts with the pelvis so when the pelvis is properly aligned and the whole body works better. So it's all, it all starts from the spine. So all you're gonna do is you're, tu you're tucking the pelvis, you're letting the pelvis go back. You're tucking the pelvis, you're letting the pelvis go back. So think of Kim Kardashian when she takes her butt photos, that's your anterior. But you wanna be more posterior. 20 of those. Don't get any bad ideas, any bad influence from your boy. But that's life, you know. That's what brings life into this world, so. No need to judge too hard, just enjoy it, man. Good. Next thing we're gonna do, just some open the gate, close the gate. 10 reps, balance on this left leg. Other direction, close that gate. So it mixes stability of the left leg, mobility of the right leg. Other direction. Other way. Check it out, get the hamstrings, 20 hamstring sweeps, pull the toe up, drive the heel down, sweep. Pull the toe up, drive the heel down, sweep. Flowy. The wave. Knee hugs, get that hip flexor loose. Remember, warm up is not sexy, but it's what keeps us going. It's 
It's what's gonna make the training better. When you warm up, when the body is warm, you'll be able to train better with more quality and precision, which leads to more ad adaptation. Three, two, one. Thank you so much for being here. You can find the app on rickfitacademy.com. I look forward to seeing you within the app. More adaptation leads to you becoming better. Cool, next thing, some bent leg kicks. Keep the knee bent. Just let that hamstring. Nice, straight leg kicks. Try to kick and let that opposite arm come. Okay, back kicks. Try to get flowy into the rhythm. Cool, next one, you're gonna open up that groin, stand with the legs wide, go to one way, go the other way, hang out a couple seconds, really open up that groin. Okay, last stretch of the day before we get in, inchworm. So you, you drop yourself down, you crawl out, and then you walk your feet back up. Five total of these. Yourself back. Really lengthen the entire posterior chain, the entire back of the legs. Three more. Two more. Good, I think we're ready to get into it. All right, homies, warm up is done. Now we're gonna get into the session. This is not the best ball. This is made for the beach. You know, Adam said to me, yeah, it's not the best ball and it's not. But like I tell you guys, like I told you from the beginning, we're gonna find a solution. If we screw up, we make mistakes. It's natural, it's gonna, what's gonna happen in the game. And actually this insight just came to me as I'm speaking to you. I think the problem is we try to be too perfect in training and then that means we think we're gonna be perfect in a game which leads to the confidence issues, right? You try to be too perfect in training, which the goal is, like I always tell my one-on-one -on -one clients, we wanna be perfect, which leads to excellence. Striving for perfection leads to excellence, but you're not gonna be perfect. You're gonna make mistakes. The best players in the world make mistakes. So if you have it in your mind where you work as hard as you can to focus on all the little reps with max intent, where you try to do everything with the right technique during training, that's the goal because that's what's gonna help us adapt but you're not gonna be perfect. If you make mistakes, we're gonna make mistakes. It's gonna happen, it's the same thing in the game. If you make a mistake, it's all right. You just focus on the next action because like I always say, your performance is judged based on the consistency of your actions. 
There may be between, I don't even know the facts, 400 to 500 actions between offensive and defensive if you play a 90 minute game. So if you have a couple screw ups, that's fine. The goal is to just be, have more, more positives than, than more negatives. So let's get into it. First exercise, we're gonna do everything for 30 seconds. I'm gonna go for 30 seconds. Adam's gonna go for 30 seconds. That's how it's gonna work. So we're just gonna coordinate the arms with the legs. Get ourselves into it. When it's 15, I'm going to ramp it up a little bit. Okay, Adam's ready to go. 30 seconds. Yeah. 15 first. Is it? First 15, we're going easy. Like I said, we're on an off week, we're on a break. Don't need to stress the body too much. Just keep ourselves active. 15 seconds to go. As you see, he's coordinating the arms with the legs. He's on the balls of his feet. He's touching the ball with the bottom of the foot. With the ball of the foot, five seconds left. Good, break. Next day, we're gonna get into our foundations. Very simple, just ball between the feet. Boom. Just let, let, let that ball glide. Keep the body over the ball, stay strong. We're ready to go here in two seconds. Five seconds. First 15, easy. Body over the ball, remaining strong and stable. Ball in between the feet. Five seconds, we have 15. 15 left, now we're gonna go harder. He's gonna go harder, try to improve the speed while keeping the technique. Maybe the ball's gonna slip, but that's all right. We're looking to work. Three seconds. Good. Cool. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work with the, the ball of the foot, the bottom of the foot, and the right lace. So, just gonna move, be moving the ball here while you're hopping on that left leg. First 15 light, gain your rhythm. Now we start to go full speed. No? Yeah. Pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. You got to feel for the ball. Five seconds left. As he's hopping on that left leg, that, that heel is off the ground, he's hopping on the left ball of the foot. Finish. Left leg, naturally. This is your left leg. It's going to help you out. Get the rhythm. Hopping on the right ball of the leg. Good. Shake it out. See, he's hopping on the right ball of the foot. That left leg.
much for being here. You can find the app on rickfitacademy.com. I look forward to seeing you within the app. Working. Yep. 15 seconds left. Now we start to ramp it up. Drop back. Ten seconds left. Ramp it up. Five seconds. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna alternate the feet. So boom, boom. Right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot. Coordination is key here. We're gonna get into it. Just feel that ball. Feel the comfort. This is really about coordination.
Left leg. This one's gonna be a bit tougher if it's your weak leg. But as I always say, that's why we train. See, the left is better for me than my right. <laughs> A few minutes later. Good. Mm -hmm. Five seconds. Fifteen seconds. Hello. Ah. Good. Okay. Five seconds. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to be working. Full pull. Pull each. Like I always say to you guys and girls, just get the motion. Just get the motion. So, next one, repeated V's. Pulling that ball, you're opening. Pulling that ball, you're opening. Repeated V's. One thing I really like about this one is it's a great one to get out of pressure. You whip that ball aggressively. Obviously, you can't accelerate it here, but work on the motion. And the reason I got music going for you is because I don't make any money on YouTube. So, ad free. One second. Pull that ball opposite. Pull opposite.
Bismillah. So you basically gotta do it in slow motion. If it's dangerous, just get the rhythm. Dangerous out of the place. If you that. Good. Very slippery. Ball's not great. Slow. Do it in slow motion. It's fun. Keep the heart rate up, get the technique. What we need. Drop it, you just keep going. Goal is just 100.
just searching for the back spin here. Last foot. This is the finisher. Finish off with 50 uh, low knee juggles. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to the session. I hope you enjoyed it. As you saw, we did our best. We adapted based on what we have, based on where we are. A little slippery, we don't want to get hurt. As I always say, the last thing you want to do if you're training individually looking to improve is hurt yourself. So sometimes you might be, you might say to yourself, why is Rick Fitt saying this? Sometimes less is more. Higher quality, less. Listen to the body. Where are you? What's going on with your surface? What environment are, are you in? And then you adapt based on that. Do not fight the body, do not fight the environment. That's what leads to injury. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notifications on. And if you want a seven day free trial for my new app, which is unbelievable, has all of this in there, very easy to use very easy to take with you to the field, very easy to use in your living room. You got whatever you want in there. You got nutrition tips, you got pro tips. I walk you through a new weekly session every single week. You're competing against other players around the globe. There's a leaderboard, we have a Discord group. Everything you need to become a better footballer is within the group. If you want to become better technically, improve yourself and become more comfortable on the ball, this app is for you. So I hope to see you there. If you have any questions, drop a comment. Have a good rest of the day. Deuces.